Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and make a video to talk about how to acquire your Elder Helmet. Um, more specifically how to craft it, not necessarily how to acquire it. So for players who play SSF, you're probably very familiar with this method. And the method is basically harvest crafting. The reason we're harvest crafting right now is Essence of Horror, which is what we used to craft with, was bugged the first few days of the league. So the price of it is massively inflated. So we want a more entry level helmet, right? So let's go ahead and get started. Now, there's a few things to cover. So before we actually get started, for people who are playing Trade League, I'm going to show you how to search this. Don't mind the Kirak Vault Pass ad there. I'll go ahead and see if I can uh, disable that. So step one, we are looking for Elder Influence. So we're going to go ahead and tag that. The reason we want Elder Influence is for Conk Effect and Burning Damage, effectively turning your four link helmet into a six link. That's very good. So step one, Elder. Step two, under Helmet or Category, we're going to do Helmet. Under item level, we're going to put 82 minimum because that's the level 4, level 20 conk and burn. You don't need level 20 if you look, I'm using a 16-16. What's more important is that you land the support gem in general. Now from here, there's a few more things we could do like corrupted no. And we could also go ahead and do like armor 1, energy shield 0, and evasion 0. And this will only tag armor based helmets. Now if you want to go one step further into this, if you come over to like the PoE wiki, a lot of people always ask, well, what base do I know what to get? If you just go to helmets and you sort by armor, you can see what has the highest armor base. So Royal would be first, as a might or Eternal would be tier two, as a might would be tier three, Sam Knight would be tier four. You get the, the idea. I would not really spend an extra 50 C to go after a top tier base if you are on the lower side of currency. So for example, here from trade, I actually bought both of these for 15 C each. These are like the third tier on the list. So now that we have that, Let's, let's get jump or, uh, jump right into it. The next thing I'm going to do is buy Life Force. So you go to Bulk Item Exchange here. You're going to go ahead and just type in Chaos. So <clears throat> actually, before you, you're going to type Life Force. So we want to buy Life Force and we have Chaos. And I like to do like a thousand minimum stock, for example. By doing this, you'll see the Life Force. So 2000 Life Force is like, according to this guy for this, this trade here, is like 20 C. Uh, to be a little safe, you can scroll down to like someone who's a little bit further. So I say the average is about 5,000 life force. So if the Elder Helm is 15 C and you're spending about 80, you know, chaos on life force, I expect this craft to be a, a little bit around 100 chaos. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. There we go. Okay. So now that you have your, your Elder Helmet, this first step would be qualitying it. It doesn't really matter. You can quality it now. You can quality it after you scour. So you only take four whetstones. That's the marginal part. We're going to come over here and we're going to do reforge fire now before we start this we want to check the price of exalt orbs so exalts are about 10 chaos per and we're spending about 100 c in supplies we'll call it right so there's the helmet and then there's the basically this life force so let's get started now the reason we're doing reforge fire is because we're trying to pull burning and we hope to get conk effect there are scenarios where i will use an exalt orb but we'll talk about those when they come if you get less duration, it is okay to use. The problem is, remember, you want two of the three links, right? And less duration is not one of them. If you use less duration with Swift Affliction, your Fire Trap might last like very, very, very short. So you might want to consider swapping a Support Gem. If you get less duration on top of the other two modifiers, I think it's definitely worth using. So Immolate, I don't really care for. There's a Conk Immolate. Conk Immolate, in my opinion, is not comparable to... Conk effect burning damage, so I'm going to roll it over. Every time we do this, we're using 50 of this resource, and we're going for about 5,000 of it. So there is a burning damage one. Now, this is a potential slammable option, and the reason I say that is because it has, like, 44 fire resistance. So what I'm going to do here, and again, you don't have to do this. This is just an option. The only reason I'm doing this is because the suffixes are okay. Having a 44 fire res is all effectively 44 life regen and 22 cold and 22 lightning res for chieftain. So I would just come over here. Since I already have that flat armor, I will just craft life and then exalt slam and hope for conk effect. I think it's like one in nine that you get it. But I hit minion life, so that's like minus 10 C. Again, you don't have to do that. The only reason I did that is because I want a, a stronger helmet and the, the suffixes on the helmet were already pretty solid with that fire res. So let's go ahead and keep rolling. Immolate, minion, immolate. There is a burning damage. It's a level 20 burning damage. 
But the problem would be that your prefixes are shit. So if I wanted to commit to this actually a little bit more in depth, I would actually use Harvest. Sorry, I would use Bestiary. Uh, Bestiary has a specific thing here. Let's see if I can find it. Sorry, this video is getting a little bit more complicated now. I'm not going to do this here, but I would do prefix to suffix, um, which is add a suffix or move a random prefix. And that's just because <clears throat> I have a level 20 burning there, and that beast is usually pretty cheap, so I can gamble with maybe getting a good suffix. And if I get a good suffix, I can work on the prefixes. But let's go back and just keep spamming. So this one, I don't really care about. Accuracy is a useless suffix for us. I'm not going to worry about that at all, so I'm just going to go on. There is a conch effect. Unfortunately, exalt slamming for uh, burning damage, I think, is much more difficult than exalt slamming for conch effect, so I'm just going to skip that over. So we've used, what, around 1k life force, maybe? There is a burning conch helm, so we have landed one. Now, in a scenario like this, right, we have a few things that we can do here. I would say the safest approach is crafting life and exalt slamming. Of course, if you want to gamble, there is a 50-50 gamble here where you can do what I was talking about before with prefix to suffix on bestiary because you can pull the fire damage to spells, bring it into a suffix, then you can like, for example, try to exalt slam life and then you can craft physical damage taken as fire. Again, a little bit more complicated, but that is technically usable, especially if you're new, right? You just use that helmet, you're happy because you, you effectively have a six link, right? You can just come over to the bench, you can craft life, and you're good to go, and you're done, right? And if we price check this helmet, I don't know how much it would be worth, let's see. I've been telling people about this on stream, so people are probably making these as well, so I imagine they're much cheaper. Yeah, okay, so these are like ADC, well this one is ADC, and then it goes 1.5 divine. So there's a very good chance I made profit on this helmet. But let's leave this one alone, and let's go work on another one. Okay, so there we go, round two. Yeah. Fire res is okay. Like, I would, again, depending on the price of bestiary, I would probably gamble because prefix to suffix is usually just a few chaos. There's immolate, there's a conch effect. Oh. Now, that's kind of a juicer. I'm not going to lie. That has a natural, like, 83 life roll. Has a suffix open. And could be exalt slammed with, uh, with conch effect. Again, unlikely that it hits, but I'm the type of guy who wants to gamble. So I'm just going to craft any random resistance. I just want to lock the suffix. Now that I have three suffix, I can gamble the exalt orb. Again, exal exalts for me are not super expensive, right? They're 10c, so... I'm going to go for it. Unlikely chance, I think it's 1 in 9, but there is a chance we hit Conk Effect, so we hit Rarity, so we go again. Okay. There is actually a chance I could gamble this, and I probably would, because of the life regenerate and the life roll, which now I could again, you guys know, bestiary, prefix to suffix, re-exalt slam. There is a burning damage with a decent regeneration roll and intelligence. Honestly, also not a bad one. And here's why I'll talk about that not being a bad one. That 36 int is actually 30% reduced effective shock. Um, because tattoos are back, you're able to put reduced effective shock tattoos over the int, which is really, really nice. So I would even gamble that helmet. Unfortunately, when it comes to market price, I don't think people would understand why it would be expensive, so I'm not going to try to sell that helmet. I'm just going to roll over. But you could do the same process again with Exalt Slamming, right? I, I, I would say this is, like, not too bad. There is a... Okay, that, ex, that is absolutely getting a slam. That has insane suffixes. Not insane, but pretty good. That T1 life regenerate is crazy for sustain. Even has another regen roll. Fire res would be better. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and come over here. So we're just going to craft, I think. I don't know actually what is higher weighting. I would have to go check. Might be percent armor. I'm not sure if it's armor or life. So not actually too sure here. This is where you would go look at 
Craft of Exile, for example, the website to go see your waiting. We're just going to go ahead and see if we get lucky and see... Actually, for sure, flat armor. No, no, no. For sure, for sure, armor is the most likely to roll, I think. This one here. I think. Okay. Now we just really hope we get concentrated effect. Hi, I'm Mark Roberts, game director on Path of Exile. Didn't hit it, got mana. We go again. This is a helmet, though, that you could potentially sell just because of the affixes. Let's see here. Yeah, there's, like, nothing listed there. I could try to, like... I mean, j for some reason, just having burning with regeneration rate is already selling, which makes sense to me because it is a good helmet. So I will actually just stop this helmet here and see if somebody would actually want to buy it. So even if I put this at, like, maybe 18, and we tag the burning, and we tag the life roll, it, it's a... The suffixes on the helmet are very good. I don't think it'll actually sell for that price, so... Tell me, I will just put it lower for people to buy. All right, I hope that that video helped you guys out on determining your Elder Helm, whether you're in Trade League or Solo Cell Found. You know, hopefully this helps you guys understand what it is that you're looking for. Remember that Elder Helms are a massive part of scaling your single target damage. Um, they effectively give you that six link, right? The Fire Trap being in a four link, but then getting the two extra gems is monumental for your single target damage, for your ability to boss on a budget for example so i'm gonna catch you guys all later hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves if this video helped you guys out remember to like share and subscribe and don't forget you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box see you guys all tomorrow